All right, Franklin Foxes, it's your favorite art teacher again, Mr. David. This time, I'm here to show you what my art studio looks like. I bet a lot of you are wondering like, hmm, I wonder what the space looks like where Mr. David draws and where he gets his inspiration and stuff like that. So I'm gonna take you on a journey, show you around my art room and some of the pictures that I have hanging up and why I have them hanging up and that kind of stuff. And let's go on a journey. First, we gotta say hello to our favorite mascot, Cinnamon, our Franklin Fox. And I'll show you Mojo too. A lot of you are wondering what my dog's names are, Cinnamon is the fox looking one, and Mojo is the really hairy one with the big mustache. So, here we go. my art room. I've got a bunch of pictures on the walls. I've got a good art desk. I've got an easel. I've got a good drawing table with a bunch of pictures up there. We'll talk about these pictures in just a minute, but got a good glass drawing table that's really smooth, really good for drawing. And then I've got some of my pictures. You guys have seen these before. We're going to talk about them just a little bit. So this is my art room. I'm lucky I have my own art room up in my house. And this is where I do most of my drawing and creating and stuff like that. I'm lucky I get my own space. Um, so first I want to show you a few things here. This picture right here of the little monster guy. He's actually a, a character from the game Warcraft. And he was actually the very first painting that I ever did. I didn't do any painting until I got into college. So when I was in high school, I was drawing, I was shading, I was doing lots of like um, design stuff and using a lot of color pencils and markers and that kind of thing. But I didn't do any painting at all until I got to college. So you guys are lucky. You guys get to, to use your paints and all that kind of stuff that we have at school. Um, so that's a really good experience for you guys. But that is the very first painting that I ever did, right? Um, so that's why that's up there. You guys know some of these pictures. I put some of these up that I've had up in my classroom, like E.T. and my, my Dragon Warrior picture, um, those kind of things. Um, this is the original Notorious B.I.G. picture that I did. You guys have seen a copy hanging up in my classroom, but this is like the original one. So that's the original original size. And that's the one that took me over 100 hours to complete. Right? It took a long time. But um, that's one of my favorite pieces, favorite pictures I've ever done. And so that is hanging up on an easel in my art room. This is my probably most famous picture that I've done. It's all done with ballpoint pen, um, which is really cool and really hard to do. Um, Martin Luther King, that part right there, I had to do his face four times because I kept messing up. The pen would leak or it would fall down um, or I'd make a mark and I couldn't erase it because it's in pen. So I had to do that four times. So that's why I tell you guys like it's okay to make mistakes. We just get up and try again. Even me that's, that has a lot of practice and I'm over 40 years old and, and been drawing for a long time, I still make mistakes. Mistakes are cool. That's how we learn. That's how we get better, right? So don't worry about making mistakes. If you make mistakes, just keep going, keep learning. Every time, just try to do a better and better picture, right? So this picture was actually, um, they invited me to do it. It was for a civil rights exhibition, and it went to all the state capitals in the South on a tour with lots of other civil rights pictures and stuff like that. And it actually finished at the White House. So my picture right here has actually been in the White House, um, which was really cool um, as part of that exhibit. And like all the famous places like down south and the state capitals and that kind of stuff. So that, that's probably my most famous piece. But you can see the detail and stuff like that that I had to put in there with just a ballpoint pen. So sometimes even just, you guys might not have lots of art materials or whatever at home, but even just like a pen or a pencil that you can use, you can do really cool things with, 
right? Um, these were some of my good paintings that I did in college. Um, and afterwards, the, this one was in college when I was learning how to paint and stuff like that. And then this one was for an art show that was actually up in Alpine, Utah. Um, so that's kind of a, a good one. Um, let's see, what else can I show you around my art room? This area, this is a poster of one of my favorite music bands, Dave Matthews Band. I love music. I always have to listen to music when I'm drawing or painting. Um, Dave Matthews is one of my favorites. If you know who he is, if you don't know who he is, check out some of his music. He's really cool. Um, and these are some of the lines from some of his songs, some of the lyrics. So this one, I really, really like. Um, this area right here is an area that I'm gonna start growing. These are artists that I really like and look up to. Um, I'll talk to you more about this artist who does these pictures really soon because he's one of my favorite authors, or not authors, favorite, favorite artists. Um, and this is an actual real picture. It's not a copy or anything. He sent me a real one, signed it down at the bottom. His name is Thomas Fluharty. Um, and he does lots of really cool stuff. Um, but I will have a special project where we talk about famous artists or some of your favorite, favorite artists. And um, we'll talk more about him in a minute. Um, this guy you probably know because I have a book of his art in my classroom, right? Will Terry, he's local to Utah. He's another really, really good children's book illustrator. Um, and he's, he's like one of my role models. I love the stuff that he does, the style that he does. Um, some of his children's books you might have seen. I'll try to find some and read those to you guys because that would be really fun. Um, but yeah, his name is Will Terry. So I wanna start creating a section up here where I can just put artists that I really look up to and really admire. And um, then that can be like a source of inspiration for my art room when I look at those pictures. Um, so I do a lot of drawing right here, just on a flat surface. Um, flat is really good for drawing and the glass is really smooth. So I do a lot of my drawing right there. Um, and just got my pencils and sharpener and stuff right there. Um, this table is better, it's more where I do my painting or on the easel, have it standing up with uh, different canvases and that sort of thing. I've got some canvases down there. Um, this picture, you guys know this picture, this is the latest picture that I've actually been working on and that was for the t-shirt design for the Battle of the Books. I'm gonna go really quickly through just some of these things. Some of them are done, this one's done in marker, like all different mark, different gray markers. Um, that one's ballpoint pen. Ballpoint pen um, is probably one of my favorite things to work in. And I'll show you a bunch of pictures here um, of ballpoint pen stuff. It, it's really hard. I actually had a teacher in high school who made us throw all of our erasers away and we had to use either a pencil with no eraser or a pen that we couldn't erase. Um, but it really helped me to become a better artist. And, and so I learned how to draw with pen. I can look, do really, really soft stuff with it or I can draw really dark with it. So it's, it's really kind of fun. Um, if you haven't drawn with pen, try it. See if you can try to draw really, really soft and get some like soft grays and then see if you can draw some really, really dark stuff on there too. Um, this was done in watercolor. This is another, this is a recreation of one of my favorite artists um, who made a bunch of movie posters. His name is Drew Struzan. And I'll talk more about him on another lesson where we talk about our favorite artists. Um, and this, hopefully you guys know who that is. That's Michael Phelps, the, the Olympic swimmer who won all the gold medals. Um, for those of you that like cats, Here's a fun cat picture. Also did that one in ballpoint pen. This is my dragon warrior picture. Sometimes it's really fun to do pictures on gray or brown paper. Um, it kind of gives you a good like darker background rather than like the white paper that you see right there. Um, so it kind of gives like a different effect. So sometimes I like to do that. Um, 
Um, I grew up in California, so a lot of the music that I listened to when I was in California was a lot of rap music. And so you'll see a lot of pictures of me drawing rap stars. That was, that was just because that was what I grew up uh, listening to. This is a famous rapper, Tupac. There's Notorious B.I.G. I have a lot of him, right? Same guy that I have the, the big picture of that you've seen in my classroom. Um, here are some oil paintings that I've done also of rappers. There's 50 Cent. I love caricature. Some of my favorite um, artists are caricature artists. Uh, Thomas Fluharty is one. Jason Seiler, if you look at his stuff, he does some really, really cool uh, caricature stuff. Um, those are some of my caricatures. So there's Barack Obama and Tiger Woods and Notorious B.I.G. This is a picture that I did of my son when he was really little. So this is kind of older. It's not as good as I can do now. Like even, even at my age, I still continue to practice. I still continue to get better. So this is, it, it's kind of cool to see like the progress that you can make. Um, but I really love this picture. It's a, it's a fun one that I did of my son. But um, this is the space where I draw. This is the space where I create. I've got like a paint table down here where I can mix all my paints. Got buckets of paints and materials down there. I've got my art table. Sometimes I draw on my iPad. I think you guys have seen me do that a lot, actually. Let me put my fingerprint on here. Um, pull up. Yeah, there's a digital one. This is a picture that I did on my iPad. Yeah, so there's my art table. I've got my art easel. I've got lamps, so I have extra light if I need it. Um, I've got my glass drawing table. I've got my all my inspiration. I talked to you guys before too about hands. Hands are one of the hardest things to draw. So if you can learn to practice and draw hands really well, then it, it will really help you. Hands like a really good practice. And you can just use your own, right? Just look at your hand in front of you, put it in weird positions like these are, and then try to draw it. It's kind of fun. Right? The more practice you can do in drawing, the better you're going to get. So, um, welcome to my art room. But hopefully you have like uh, a, a good place where you can get some inspiration, listen to some good music while you're drawing or painting. Um, and anyway, this is my art studio. I hope you guys love it. Anyway, I will see you guys later. Keep drawing. I miss you guys. See you later.